Caddis Maximus here this time with a little video about this oh, oh, AOI world's smallest USB-C gallium nitride charger they also sent along a cable so this is a sponsored video uh, happened after I made that video about a bunch of random USB chargers uh, I do appreciate the sponsorship and gosh certainly know that I could use it anyway interesting packaging just has this little cardboard thing to help hold it and it is indeed a super tiny little charger. So showcasing this, it is pretty darn small. If we take a look at metric sizing, we've got 48 and a half millimeters by 45 millimeters by 23 millimeters. So that would be 7 eighths of an inch by one and eleven sixteenths by one and seven eighths so definitely a pretty small unit and if we do for 40 watts we do have little chamfered metal input so a ho high doing my research are actually fairly popular it's kind of like a com competitor to anchor there are a few of these chinese brands that are really trying to you know be the charging device of fishing autos and seeing how Anchor went from kind of no-name to actually pretty well respected, they're trying to set, do the same thing. I have a Blitzforce charger, and we can just, this is a 65-watt charger, but nonetheless, we can see its dimensions. It's quite a bit shorter, quite a bit thinner. This thing really is super-duper compact. They also sent along a cable. We have this happy, unhappy, which is kind of hilarious. And a little instruction manual. Now this will do up to uh, 40 watts, so up to 20 volts, 2 amps. This is maximum output, so if you're using both ports at the same time, it will quick charge, but it'll start dropping the current when you don't have enough or when there's too much load. Other than that, they call this, they have a variety of colors here. Where's the back of the box? They're starting off with yellow and black. Links will be included in the description, but eventually they'll have red, purple, green, which I actually think is kind of a neat idea. Online, they're calling this amber when it's obviously yellow. And a real compact, just the two forks flip out, uh, flip out wall plug. And pretty decent little box. The box even has a little handle, which I thought was cute. We'll take a look at their cable. They also have these, uh, LED display cables. This is not it. This is just a 100 watt USB C to C cable. Same little, although that's interesting that the happy and unhappy card is different <laughs> from the one that comes with the charger. Although this charger is their newest release, so they probably just did a little revision. Pop this cable out, and it certainly seems like it's pretty high quality. Once again, this is not a display cable, but apparently it has some regulation circuitry in it to make sure um, that it doesn't have too many issues and then they have little plastic wraps they call that die cast zinc definitely pre feels pretty solid it's rated for like thousands of flex cycles as far as the strain relief it is pretty soft it's a reasonable strain relief but it still is going to want to kink at the end they should definitely work on improving that and it does have little matching yellow tips Nice long tips on this so they'll fully seat. I mentioned that in other, I've done a video about USB cables where some of them have real short connectors on them and they don't properly fit. As far as the field and diameter, I think it seems pretty good. If we compare to some of the more well-named competitions such as this Belkin 100 watt cable, I'd say the Belkin has a little bit better, you know, a little bit softer of a strain relief, but otherwise feels about the same, you know, density, thickness. As far as the flexibility of this, it's in between. The Belkin is really flexible, but if you compare it to another well-rated cable such as this Amazon Basics 100 watt cable, it feels just about the same. So it's a decent cable for 15 bucks, that's for sure. So anyway, let's do a little bit of testing. One thing I will mention, a couple things. One, I really do like the little aluminum chamfered input. It just makes it super easy just to get a cable in there. And definitely pretty tight ports so they make a good connection and you always kind of know these gallium nitride chargers gallium nitride is a next generation transistor it's a bit more expensive and the deal with them is they're a bit more efficient they generate less heat and they can handle 
at this they generate less heat but at the same time can also handle more heat before having issues and so it's allowing manufacturers to do start having power electronics that are pushing much more power i mean two amps at five volts is like the standard run-of-the-mill uh charger and so it really is clear just how small 40 watts is like here we go this is a like a pretty decent verizon 10 watt charger this is 10 watts this is 40 and it's only maybe a moderately larger another example would be this rat power this is only a 25 watt and so this thing is certainly much smaller and puts out more power so anyway plugging it in i think this is the, uh the intelligent part about it so when we plug it in even though the phone kind of shows it white it, this is a green light and that's when it's finished charging and kind of like that verizon i like these more modern chargers because they excuse me because they actually let me get this set up change the color to light so that you can kind of know the charging status when it's sitting at green it's not delivering any power and you know your device is charged what's interesting is it has different behavior this is just going to be a five volt load and when i plug it in now the color actually changes to white and that's just telling us that it's running a 5 volt load as we can see it's delivering 10 watts um be careful those resistors will get burning hot anyway delivering 10 watts and it just shows as white because it's delivering more of a static load but if it actually detects something that's more of a normal charging device and we'll use this here plug this into a battery bank a pretty high capacity one 20,000 uh, milliamp hour now if we plug this in it'll take a second and now it changes to orange and so now it's delivering something above 5 volts which is a anything above 5 volts whether it's 9 12 15 or 20 which this supports uh 20 watt 20 volts at two amps will charge a surface or something it does this pulsing orange light so i thought that was kind of neat that you have a kind of a, a different status and then it would change to green as soon as it's done charging so i think that's kind of cool because just through one light you can tell if your device is actually fast charging or if it's slow charging depending if it's white or if it's doing this pulsing orange thing one quick note and online it seems that they've revised these from the very initial launch to mine because mine is obviously white on a standard charge but if we look here standard charging started it says blue but in my case it's white so they did do a little update other than that that's uh, about all there is to say about this they actually do have all the information etched on the back but laser etched in this yellow, it, you'll need a magnifying glass in the right light angle. And it actually is serialized with that little dark line is actually a serial number. It's like microfilm size. Anyway, this kind of intrigued me and this is seems like a pretty high quality charger. For somebody who's looking for a little wall wart charger that is just as compact as possible. And it's pretty dense. I mean, those gallium nitride transistors allow them to pack a lot of stuff in just a tiny little space. But... For a tiny little charger, I kind of like it. And you know what? I kind of like the yellow tubies. It's easier, the day glow yellow, because it's easier to spot out. And if you're hunting around for your chargers all the time, especially a small one like this, this bright color will actually be easier to catch your eye. And uh, once again, I mean, it's rare. Of all the chargers I have, like USB-A has a built-in metal thing, but not a lot of them go to this uh, extra detail. And I like that the status LED lets you know if you're quick charging or not. So it helps you identify, uh, like if your phone's supposed to be quick charging and it's not, then you, may, you know that uh, you probably have a cable issue or dirt in your port. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and watch this little product, uh, the sponsored product showcase. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.